Good morning. It's our final day and it's our biggest day, 36 kilometers. And no right sleep. It is 5.45. Feeling good. Oh, look at that pink sky. Looks like it's on fire. Smash down some sandwiches and then get on the road. Hopefully, oh God, there's a wicker in my pack. Another day, another bay. <laughs> like that one? It's getting worse and worse, these rhymes. <laughs> Picking up a good pace here. 6k in. Of our 36k mega day. And what are you most looking forward to when we get back to civilization? Me? No. The person in front of me. Uh, I wouldn't mind a shower. Shower, she said. Wouldn't mind a shower. Could take it or leave it. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, the proper cup of tea. Proper cup of tea, even though we had one yesterday. What was, the wrong, what was the wrong one yesterday? Gross. No, the one in the evening. That was bad. I had to have two sugars. Really enjoyed my backcountry meal last night. Beef teriyaki. Trick is, leave it in a bit longer. So the full 15 minutes. So there's no crunching to give it a real good stir. And then Bob's your uncle. Got a very nice meal. The, uh, had some other women in the hut had a brownie in a backcountry meal. And it looked divine so that's next on my list don't mind carrying a bit of extra weight 3k to the next camp and 8k to the next bay where we're gonna stop and have a break Thirteen K in two and a quarter two and three quarter hours. Uh, that means we're over a third of the way there. Uh, we haven't stopped yet. My toes are feeling pretty grisly. All the sand. But I'm gonna change my socks at the next stop. Long suspension bridge this one very bouncy could easily go off the edge here like long all the way down officially halfway what's your halfway dance <laughs> <Come on. laughs> nice one we are four hours in we're halfway, so that means another four hours to go. Probably a bit more because we're doing a little detour. Got to stop for lunch, got to stop for some uh, Sour Patch Kids. Um, well, they're all mine. 
and yeah, I mean, changed my outfit. You might notice from earlier, fresh threads makes me feel pretty good. Change my socks, put some plasters on. All looking pretty good. We overtook a couple, had a break, just overtaking them again. They must be pretty speedy because we are flying. And that's about it, really. Next stop, Cleopatra Pools. Officially, 10k to go. We've done 28.3. I think it is 38.3 that we finish that. Had some lunch at Cleopatra Pools. Didn't go in the water, there were giant eels. And thought we were gonna go via Anchorage for the top of the water, but you skip that out if you're just walking back to Marahal. So, no water. Picked up the pace again after I had a little word with Bex. She was uh, slowing down a bit, so I had to tell her. A little bit awkward and you gotta tell someone. <laughs> but she's now picked- You literally <laughs> <laughs> Now she's picked up the pace, which is good. Back on track. Bex, how are you feeling? You're lucky to still have both your balls. <laughs> my feet really hurt. And Arthur is a massive pain in my ass. Other than that. She's been texting a lot too, that's probably slowed her down. We've not been tested, there's no signal. Less than 10k to go now. Come on. Less than 5k to go now. The home stretch. Hopefully after this few corners, we'll be able to see our starting point where we got on the boat to Totranui. A couple of days ago now. Oh, today has been great but also a bit of a slog. To oh, you. She's got something to say to you. You, you Mr. Doc Ranger man. <laughs> Last night, when you asked us where we were going, and we said we we're going to the end, and he took one look and said, have you done much walking? Well, I'll tell you this, Mr. Doc man, we just smashed out 36K, Got no toenails left, but we did it. <laughs> so, in your face. That's all good. Thanks for that, aggressive. <laughs> aggressive end to the walk. So we're on the final bridges to Marahau. 37 and a half kilometers later. Eight hours, just over. That doesn't include stops. We stopped, how many times did we stop? Twice. Stopped twice, eight hours. Jesus. And yeah, that's pretty much it done. Lovely little walk in. Look at that. Low tide at the moment. What time is it actually? I don't even know. Three o'clock. All in half a day's work. The centre was around a thousand. So like climbing a mountain, but just small little ups and downs. Yeah, well deserved break. Well, I say break. Split up a rock and then a have a many hour drive tonight. Great.
Here she is, coming through the finish line. <laughs> Still got about 3k to the car, but... Well, it's a nightmare. Still going. The end of the Able Tasman doesn't really end in Marahal. Ends right at the entrance to Marahal, which we drove through and we got the boat from the waterfront. So now we're still walking. Still walking. It's gonna add another maybe 3k onto the walk. Only the casual 41. 40 today. Just a walk in the park. I'm booked anywhere to stay tonight. It's quarter past three. And hopefully, we'll get to the car soon. Back to where we started. Great news. Whew. Time for a bit of food, and then off we go. So, 10 minutes after finishing the Abel Tasman, we're off to split up a rock, obviously. More walking. Great. And I'm <laughs> it wasn't my idea to see split up a rock. But, Ooh, these are a lot of stairs. For people who've just walked 40 odd K. But go do what you gotta do. Cause you won't be up here for a while. Split up a rock. Nearly as good as the Wanaka tree. That's probably that sums it up. It's a big rock that is split in half. Worth the torture of my legs. Totally worth the torture. 